Hi, I'm Bradley Sleedrack with Fenta Cranes. Today we're focusing on one of the most overlooked, most critical components of your crane, the hook. If the hook fails, nothing else matters. The load is coming down. That's why both CSA B167 and ASME B30 outline clear inspection and removal criteria. So let's start with the standards. According to ASME B30.10 and reinforced in CSA B167, a crane hook must be removed from service immediately if you find any of the following. Corrosion or pitting that weakens the surface. Cracks, gouges or nicks. Wear exceeding 10% of the original cross section of the hook or its load pin. Noticeable bending or twisting of the hook body. Throat opening. Increased by more than 5% of the original size or more than a quarter inch, whichever is less. Damaged, missing or malfunctioning hook latches. Worn or corroded threads on the shank or nut. Evidence of heat damage or unauthorized welding. If any of these is present, that hook is unsafe. There's no exceptions. So one of the biggest hidden threats to crane hooks is fatigue damage. Every lift and lower cycle puts stress on the hook. Over time, microscopic cracks form and grow. These cracks can expand suddenly, and when they do, they often fail at the speed of sound, with no warning. That's why routine crack detection is essential. The good news is that many hook issues can be spotted with a careful visual inspection. Look for bending, twisting or deformation. Measure for increased throat opening or reduced crocsessional area. A simple rule of thumb, if you can scratch your finger in a gouge, it's serious enough to remove the hook. Inspectors should use calipers, micrometers and dial indicators to track dimensions against the original specs. Any reduction in cross section or increase in throat opening is a sign the hook has been plastically deformed, meaning it's been overloaded and will never return to its original shape. Once that happens, the hook's integrity is permanently compromised and it may fail under loads far below its rated capacity. While visual checks are critical, some damage is hidden beneath the surface. That's where non-destructive testing comes in. Liquid penetrant testing, dye penetrant. A dye seeps into fine cracks or pits, making them visible. A magnetic particle inspection, MPI, introduces a magnetic field to reveal surface and near surface cracks. These tests usually require removing the hook from service, but they're essential in high duty applications or whenever fatigue is suspected. So here's what you as a crane owner or operator need to know. Perform daily visual checks for obvious defects. Have trained inspectors carry out frequent inspections with proper measuring tools. Follow CSA B167 and ASME B30 removal criteria strictly. And when in doubt, take the hook out of service and replace it. Safety always costs less than failure. Here at Fenter Cranes, we provide full hook inspections, replacements and testing services to keep your equipment safe and compliant. And please remember, all our training and information videos are available on our YouTube channel at Fenter Cranes. So follow us, follow this page for more crane safety and maintenance insights. And again, this is Bradley Sleedrift. I'm the president of Fenter Cranes, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.